Hello viewers, welcome to this video session and this session has been recorded specially to sort out some of the difficulties which have been faced by maximum participants. Just like some, some participants from your FDP has asked various queries based on a Google Classroom and to sort out some of the problems I have designed, I have created this video. The very first problem which we are going to solve under this video will be how to delete Google Classroom or suppose I have created a Google Classroom. Is it possible for me to delete that? So answer is definitely yes. You can delete your Google Classroom whatever you have created. But how to delete that particular classroom? So we'll try to start it with this demonstration. So of course I'm going to start with my Google Classroom. So this is the this is the particular screen I have I have opened for starting with Google Classroom. For that, I have clicked on these icons. I have clicked on obviously Google Classroom icon which is available over here. And once we have clicked on this icon, we are going to get this screen. So obviously in a previous videos, you might have seen how to start with the Google Classroom. And of course, this is the classroom which we have created in our video. Now, how to delete this video? The real difficulty with maximum users, those who have tried, those who have used Google Classroom is how to delete this class because we just don't have any option like delete. So for your kind information, Google classes cannot be deleted, cannot be removed directly. So how we have to handle that, we are going to see in this demonstration. So this is the class we have created and now I'm trying to remove this class or delete this class. So for that, you have to click on these three dots, whatever are being appearing. So I have these three dots appearing and I'll try to click on that particular dot. The moment I'll click on that particular dot, you are getting a message move edit, copy and the last one is an archive. Move means it, suppose it is needed for me to move this particular class whatever have been created to some another place so I can move it. I can edit it. By editing I can be able to make changes in my class name and somewhat. Okay. Similarly the next one is copy. Suppose it is needed for me to create a copy of that class I can create that copy and the last one is an archive. As far as literal meaning of archive is concerned, it is something called as a historical record. Archaeological, you might have heard the word. Okay, so exactly that archive means I am trying to keep the particular records in a history. So what I am making, I am trying to click on this particular option and that is archive. So I will click on archive. It is asking me archive classes can't be updated unless you will restore them. You are getting a message. Of course, after making creation of an archive class, you cannot be able to do updations or changes in that class. This class will be moved in your archive classes. So where that is, we'll try to see afterwards. So I'll click on straight away on an archive. So what we have made, again, I'll tell you, we have clicked on these three dots. And at last, we have an option, something archive. I'll click on that archive option. And again, I'll click on archive. And you can notice that this class, whatever just now we have created, so that is getting removed from my current list of Google Classrooms. Now, where to find it out or where these archive classes are available? So for that, you have to click on these three lines which are appearing before Google Classroom. On your screen, you can see you have these three lines available and I am clicking on that particular lines. Once I'll click on that lines, I'm getting all the classes, whatever are being created by me and I have n number of classes available. So all these are the particular classes which I have already created. Now, under that, we have the last option which is available and that is related with archive classes. So you have to click on that option. And under that archive classes, now you can notice you have the class and that is a SGBAU FDP 2020, which is just now we have archived. So idea is that you what you have to perform? Suppose it is needed for you to remove or delete a class. So you have to make it an archive. Once you have made it an archive, it will goes into the archive classes. OK, and after that, suppose now it is deleted. It is needed for you to remove this class permanently. So again, you have to click on these three dots and now you have a delete option available. 
the idea is that what i am trying to say ki the suppose it is needed for you to straight away remove the class direct delete option is not provided by google classroom first of all you have to create the class archive once you have create the class archive it will goes into the folder of archive classes and then after that you have to you can remove that particular class so by, by clicking on delete it is saying you will no longer have an access to any post and comments that have been made or added into this class so definitely after deletion nothing is possible you cannot be able to gain access to any of the comments any type of assignments or any activity whatever you have given in that class so obviously this is the particular one so of course at this moment of time i am trying to create cancel over here so suppose by mistake someone has archived some class then what so for deletion what you have to make again i'll tell you you have to click on this archive classes and then you have to delete it will permanently remove this class now suppose by mistake someone has made this task so at that time again he has to click on this three dots and you will get a particular message and that is restore by clicking on a restore this this class getting stored on to the same location where it is available prior archive that means it will goes on to the same location so we'll try to click on restore option so you you and your students will be able to interact with this class again so what i am trying to say archive classes cannot be updated cannot be modified nobody could be able to make a comment nothing is possible but the moment i'll try to make a restore of that class now everything is possible so i'll click on restore and you can notice that class has been removed that has been again available in my list of classes whatever i have created so again i'll click on this dot, dot and again all the all the classes whatever are being available in my class in my account will be available so idea is that this way you can you can perform the task of removing or archiving a class so these are the these are the particular classes which are available under my account i'll go straight away on to our class so this is my class okay so now it is possible for me to do anything with this class so this way it is possible for you to perform any activity with the class so idea is that you have for delete de deleting a class it is a two step process first of all you have to select a class make it archive once it is archived you can be able to go into the archive classes okay of course this task you have to make it by clicking on this uh, three lines and then you can delete the class if needed if if unfortunately by mistake you have archived the class you can restore that class so this is a simple task you can make now another question which has been asked is it possible for me to remove any student permanently from my class so again answer is yes it is possible by mistake suppose some student has been entered in your class so obviously you have an option to delete uh, to remove that class from uh, remove that student from that class and how to perform that task that we'll see so i'll again go into the people under the people you can see you can notice that one student swarneel and i just don't know this person okay this may be one of the participant who has joined by using my code whatever he has seen or he or she has seen while uh, watching the video so what i am making i am trying to take some type of action on that student so please don't take this par participant who sir may be swarneel so please don't take it otherwise so just for the sake of an example i am taking it so i have to choose the student under the action you have something and that is remove so by using this option it is possible for you to remove the particular student from the class so i'll remove this okay you can see are you sure to want to remove the student from the class for anil and again email id of that has been given so i'll click again on remove it may take some moment you can watch now i have just a single student available under my class so this way it is possible for you to delete or remove any any of the student again under the action we have already seen we can perform these much activities you can email you can remove you can make a student mute so these are the actions you can perform so this way it is possible for you to delete or remove any of the particular student now another third question which is asked by various participant and that is can i create in a single gmail account 
a google class in which i will be a teacher and another google class in which i will be a student that means in a same gmail account is it possible for me to keep both the classes in which in one of the class i will be a student in another class i will be a teacher so again answer is yes you can make that so how you can make that so we'll try to see again i'll move into my list of classes i might have some of the some of the class so these are the particular classes available again please notice these icons if you have icon something like this this indicates that you are in a role of a teacher okay these two particular icons indicate that this like a particular icon which is something similar to that of a folder so this indicates that you will be in a role of a teacher i'll check it out in my whether in my class list i ah, okay so this is the class so in this class you can notice over here second year msc computer science so this is an icon you can get the difference between these two icons so in this icon i will be in a role of a student so you can get the difference it's like you can notice whatever are the classes which i have created already so in most of the classes you can notice the icon is something like this this indicate that in these classes i will be a teacher whereas if i am getting an icon something like this in this this way i am i i will be in the role of a student so again i'd like to say by using a single gmail account you can create any number of classes there is no restriction and in some of the class you can be a teacher you can in another class you can be a student also okay another question which has been asked by some participant so suppose by mistake you have joined some of the class in which you just don't want to join then what so for that i'll try to move into another class just like this is the class i have created and suppose by mistake just like you can notice over here you see the actually this is an account of my my son and what i am making i have i have joined him in uh, in agbo fdp and unfortunately he has getting he has joined in another account and that is a botany so what is needed suppose he would like to remove from this or, or he would like to come out of that class so for that again you have to of course i am making this operations on a student side so again i'll click on this three dots of course you are not a teacher so you are not going to get that options like restore or something you will get something over here and that is an enroll that means by mistake it's like whatever is the code which have been provided in google classroom is a uh, case sensitive means if it is in upper case you have to write it in upper case if it is in a lower case you have to write it in lower case if something goes wrong so it may gets happen that a student from one class getting entered into some another class so suppose by mistake some student has entered into a wrong class just like this is a student who is getting entered into a botany class so wh what i have option i have so again i have to click on this three dots again i like to say i am in a student role so, and i'll try to make un enroll myself by mistake i have joined the class so what i have to make i have to un enroll so i'll click on this un enroll so you will be removed from this class so idea is that it is giving a message you will be removed from this class all your files remains in a google drive so idea is that fortunately the better thing is by the name of the class a folder is getting created in your drive and of course all the file remains intact although you will getting removed so i'll click on un enroll and you can notice this class of botany getting removed from this this uh, list of classes so idea is that what i am trying to say ki this way it is possible for you to perform various operations in a google classroom again i'd like to say if you have any queries in whatever are the activities which we have covered so please send me a telegram or whatsapp me i'll try to make a video of that i'll try to answer that question but some some queries uh, are not being cleared from my explanation so what i have made i have created straight away video of that so please i hope that some of your queries whatever you have asked have have been solved by this video so thank you thank you very much